today, we're actually going to be checking out one of the first ever versions released publicly of Minecraft. So yeah, as you can see right here, I have the Minecraft launcher open and to actually be able to kind of access previous kind of historical versions, all you really have to do is go into launch options and then hit historical versions and then bam, you should be able to access them once you edit around your profile. So yeah, here is the first ever version that is available on this launcher. So yeah, we're just going to hit play. Now it's actually like really small. Like this is the first version. So yeah, you spawn in the air. What the? Like, like, look at this. Wait, what the heck even is this? Oh my goodness. What the, what the heck's going on? All right, so it looks like I can walk around just fine, but yeah, I'm not able to actually hit F11 and make it full screen, so it is a little bit tiny. Let's see, what happens when I, oh, okay, so left click actually places blocks, and it looks like this is the original version of Cobblestone. So all the textures are completely changed. As you can see, the grass looks completely different, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I can't sprint at all, and if I hit R to try and sprint, it actually just resets the entire world. So what the heck do I even do? Like, I don't even have a character. I don't have an arm. Okay, right click. I can actually dig. So, so do, do I dig straight down? Is this why they say don't dig straight down? Because eventually I'll fall out of the world. Like how, how deep can I go here? Oh no. All right. So do I, is this, is this, is it over? Am, am, am I dead now? I can literally just look down and it's just sky. There, there's no sun in this. The, the whole thing is just blue. And yeah, there is just one chunk up there that it looks like. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep falling forever. So I'm going to hit R to reset it. Now, is there any other things that I can do? All right. Well, I might as well try and build something. You know, why not? We're in the first ever version of Minecraft, or at least like the first ever versions. So yeah, this was kind of just like basic building, I guess. There was no creative mode, even though I guess this technically is creative mode. So there was no survival mode at the time, but you just left click to place down blocks. You can make houses, I guess, out of cobblestone. It definitely does not look nearly as good as modern versions of Minecraft, which is, is understandable because they had a lot more time to edit it. But yeah, let's just make a quick little castle here. And then I'm actually going to hop over to the next sort of big release of a Minecraft version. So you guys, this is what I managed to come up with in about five minutes. Now, I'm not the best builder in the world, but uh, it, it's something at least. So yeah, this first version of Minecraft, there's not a lot you could really do. You know, you would kind of get bored of this. You could definitely build stuff, but there's no multiplayer. There's no other blocks. It's literally just grass and cobblestone, and you only have a limited area to work with. So yeah, this definitely wasn't the best version of Minecraft out there. So yeah, guys, here is the first version of beta. So the other one was the first version of alpha. So now we're going to check out the first beta version. It looks like we do indeed have multiplayer so can i connect to other servers Let, let's try and connect to minecade there's no way this is gonna work right minecade <laughs> no yeah definitely multiplayer is not gonna work i do like that neat animation at the start now it looks like they started to add in mods and texture packs all right but anyway let's go back into single player now it looks like you could only create five worlds and you could delete the world so yeah definitely minecraft was still extremely limited in the beta stage so yeah this is minecraft beta it looks like i can oh whoa all right F, I can change my render distance, it looks like. Let's go with the farthest render distance. Why the heck not? Now, it looks like we have sheep over here, which are literally just bouncing around. Uh, I cannot run at all, and I only have hearts. Like, I, there, there's no hunger system yet. So, yeah, the only way to get back hearts, I believe, is just to eat food. <laughs> so, the mobs in this are acting, like, really strange. I don't know if this is how mobs are supposed to act in this version. But, yeah, it looks like this was the first version where you could actually go around, punch some wood, and actually get to crafting stuff. So, yeah, let's see. I can't open my inventory unless it's something different the controls might be completely different now so yeah apparently i can open up my inventory with i so let's see i can add armor here it looks like so yeah it, it definitely stays true to the original minecraft now we do actually get wooden planks can i make a crafting bench all right let's see workbench oh i forgot it was used to be called workbench all right guys so we're gonna start our let's play off here this is the regular version of minecraft now can i actually change okay yeah i can toggle that can i change oh that's cool so it looks like you can only go behind you with that five like I can't look you guys in the face. You can only look at my back. But yeah, it looks like regular crafting works just fine. Now, can we get sticks? Oh, you can't actually like right click and drag. So you had to put everything in manually. That flipping stinks. But yeah, we have a pickaxe here. Very, very nice. Now, does this work how I think it is? Can I go get stone? Oh, what the? I, I, oh, that's me walking. I thought that was pigs. Yeah, this is the old walking sound. It's definitely super loud. Plus, I have my sounds all the way up. Yeah, that that is definitely a little bit intrusive. I could see why they kind of lessen the sound. But yeah, guys, this is just Minecraft beta. It definitely brings back a little bit of old Minecraft nostalgia. But yeah, let's move on to, I believe the next one up is the official 1.0 release. All right, there we go. Minecraft is starting to come a little bit together. Now, I don't know what that message is trying to tell me. If any of you speak that language, let me know in the comment section down below but i don't speak that language i think it says gooch teb two 
it, I, it, no, no, wait, it's backwards. Never mind, guys, it's not backwards. I have no idea what that says. So it looks like there is a tad bit more controls. We can pick the block. There is indeed a creative mode. So yeah, we can go into the world. This is our old world. So we're gonna actually create a new world here. Let's call this 1.0. Let's go into, oh, we can go into the creative. Let's just start out. I guess let's go in creative. Why the heck not? And it looks like we do actually have structures now, which is awesome. So yeah, this is going to be kind of almost modern Minecraft. Obviously, they add a bunch of things and further updates that we're gonna be checking out. But yeah, when you spawn in creative mode, there's actually no way to switch because there's no single player commands yet and actually when I hit I'd open on my inventory It only gives me this as my creative tab So yeah, I could just basically look through here and find the blocks that I want if I want to build something or if I want to give myself something So yeah, I can pretty much do anything in this world except go in survival which kind of defeats the entire purpose But yeah, as you can see Minecraft still really isn't quite there yet. You can't switch modes There's no commands yet. Uh, the blending between biomes isn't that great up until like later versions of Minecraft but yeah, we still have the old sounds, which is awesome. I really love old Minecraft sounds. Like, I don't know why they had to change them. But yeah, this is technically the official release of Minecraft. So this is what it looked like when it first came out and you were actually able to buy the game. I can hit F5. Oh, yes, I can actually look at myself. Now, there were no skins yet or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's still cool nonetheless. This was the introduction of Steve that you can look at yourself and you can actually see that you're kind of ugly. Sorry, Steve. I still love you, buddy. So yeah, I just came across a block that actually looks like Andesite, except this is actually old gravel and the texture that he used to have so yeah fun neat fact all right guys so i just stumbled across my first ever cave this is the nasty creeper you definitely wanted to stay away from these guys now it does look like they had generated structures down here it looks like i already found a nice little mine shaft now these things were scary especially in these early versions of minecraft because you had these spider spawners and they were a little bit difficult to defeat you know back then minecraft was a little bit more hard to survive in so you guys this is just version 1.0 now what i'm gonna do is actually go all the way up to version 1.4.5 we're gonna stop in between a little bit but yeah that's actually the version and then I started playing Minecraft in. So I was curious for this video, you know, what I could find in older versions of Minecraft that I actually never played on before. All right, guys, so we're going to fast forward a little bit to version 1.2.5. So it looks like we have multiplayer worlds, which was in 1.0, but I'm sure they got a lot better here. We also have texture packs and we do have quite a few new options. So yeah, I'm going to go into single player and let's actually create a brand new world. Let's call this 2.5 because that's what it is. Let's try creative mode and let's see if I can actually switch in between them yet. I'm not 100% sure if I can, but it looks like we still have generated structures. It looks like it's just villages and dungeons as of right now, but it looks like we also do have a brand new world type called Super Flat. So yeah, this was the origin of the Super Flat world. But anyway, let's generate up this world and see what we're gonna have here. I'm a little bit excited because this is like a couple versions before I actually started playing. So it looks like you still have the weird inventory thing where you still have to press I. It's not E these days. But yeah, just scrolling through the inventory, it looks like a couple of the textures were actually changed and it looks like they added the ability to spawn in mobs and it looks like we also have the nether here. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the nether was in version 1.0. I kind of forgot to check. But yeah, we can go into the nether in this version. So yeah, guys, there was still no way to switch between survival and creative mode at this point in time. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck in creative mode. I'm actually going to generate up another world in survival and kind of see how that changed. All right, guys. Well, here we are in Minecraft 1.2.5. Now, it looks like we do indeed now have a hunger bar. So this is where... Oh, wow. Listen to that sound. Oh, that, that was my legs cracking. Listen. Oh, the old Minecraft sounds were just, ah, they were so loud. They were so gory. I, I kind of like the new sounds better. They're obviously more high quality, but these old sounds, oh, they just bring back some good memories. So yeah, Minecraft 1.2.5, it looks like most of the same things are in the game, except we have a couple new things like the hunger system, and we also have some new biomes. I believe the jungle biome was new at the time. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much how old Minecraft used to look. Now we're going to jump into 1.3 and then eventually 1.4. So let's Let's hop over to 1.3 right now. So as you can see now, guys, we are transitioning over to 1.3.2. Now, I forgot how big of an update this was. I kind of remember hearing about it. I remember hearing about Minecraft at this time. I was, I believe, like 13 to 14 years old when this version came out, but I did not have Minecraft. So yeah, I remember hearing about this, though, because they added in the addition of chat settings. And also, if you look in the controls here, you could actually use slashes to make up commands. All right, so let's press I here to open up the creative window, and you can see that it's very, very familiar. Most of the stuff here was pretty much used throughout like future versions of Minecraft and I'm, it, like the system now is pretty much essentially the same they added a few new tabs and they, they might have moved things here and there when they added the addition of new blocks but yeah now you could search items in creative mode and it made it a lot easier but let's try out some of the commands here so if I just type in game mode zero here 
Okay, oh yes, I can actually transition into survival mode now, which was definitely a huge thing for survival Minecraft. So I remember this was definitely a big deal back then that you could switch between the modes because essentially, you know, if you had a really awesome survival world, well, someone could now go into creative mode in that world and then pretty much make it from scratch. They didn't really need to go mining. They didn't need to get all the materials. They could just go with slash game mode one and then bam, they could fly around and get all the blocks that they wanted. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure that is the major addition to this update. It was just essentially you could go into game mode zero and game mode one and also added in a couple other commands. It looks like we have slash help slash XP. What the heck does slash me do? What, what, what is this? It looks like I could say that I died. So Beckbro Jack has died, guys. I'm very sorry. But anyway, let's move on to the last version I want to check out, which is 1.4.5, which is actually when I started playing Minecraft. All right, guys, here it is. This actually brings back a ton of nostalgia. I remember trying to mod earlier versions of Minecraft, like 1.4.7. I was trying to mod by then. So yeah, after I figured out that you could mod Minecraft, I was, I was all over it. Like I started downloading mod packs and everything for 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. But yeah, this was the first ever version of Minecraft that I checked out. I remember playing it with my cousin Chris at the time. We had like a multiplayer world. I figured out how to do that. But yeah, let's just check out what a regular world looks like. So let's do 4.5. Looks like it. We still have the regular modes here. Let's go into creative. Let's see if there's any new world options here. No, it looks pretty much all the same. So let's create the new world and see what's different. All right, guys. So two major things that I remember about this update was first off, they added in anvils. I remember my cousin was telling me all about how you can now repair your armor and swords, which was apparently a pretty big deal at the time. But yeah, another thing was also the wither. I'm pretty sure this is when the wither was added. So yeah, this was how you made it. You did one, two, three. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I thought the wither was actually added later, but now that I'm thinking back uh, at it, you know, this is when the wither was created in 1.4. So yeah, this was when a brand new boss was added into Minecraft. You already had the Ender Dragon. So this was a pretty dang big deal. So yeah, guys, anyway, I'm pretty sure that, that is everything, or at least the major stuff that I remember from Minecraft 1.4.5. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. It was definitely awesome for me anyway to go back and see the earlier version of Minecraft that I actually never played on. Like, that was my first time playing on those earlier versions because with the new launcher, you're actually able to go back and kind of go into Minecraft history and see how it changed throughout the ages. But anyway, guys, let me know what your favorite update was and also when you started playing Minecraft. I'm actually curious to see when you guys first started playing Minecraft, whether that be, you know, one year ago or seven years ago. Let me know in the comments down below. But guys, anyway, that is going to wrap everything up. My name is Mac Bro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye!